Thanks for joining us. You're watching Arirang Newsbreak. I'm Han Daeun in Seoul. There was significant progress in Tokyo today on the follow-up measures for the landmark wartime sexual slavery settlement between Korea and Japan reached late last year. The two sides were said to have focused on ironing out the details of the establishment of a foundation through which the Japanese government will provide compensation to the Korean victims of 1 billion Japanese yen, or roughly 9 million U.S. According to Seoul's foreign ministry spokesperson, Korea briefed Japan on the current progress of the project as Seoul is in charge of it and said the ministry still aims to launch a preparatory committee as early as this month. The two-hour closed-door meeting was led by the foreign ministry's director general for Northeast Asian Affairs, Chung Pyeong-won, and his Japanese counterpart, Kimihiro Ishikane. Reporters on site were told that Japan agreed to Korea's plans. Last week, the ministry said the goal is to launch the foundation within the first half of the year. Seven customer products containing banned ingredients will be taken off the shelves and banned from Korea. The list of banned ingredients includes PHMG, the same chemical that caused the uproar surrounding products made by Oxy Racket Benkeiser. Or Hwang Ojun has this report. The Korean government announced Tuesday it is recalling seven products found to contain banned toxic substances and banning future sales of the products in Korea. The recalled products will be destroyed. The government launched an investigation into the products in July as part of a broader probe into over 300 products suspected of containing toxins. The seven products subject to the recall, including an antibacterial spray for shoes, were found to contain banned substances. One of the substances on the list was PHMG, a toxic chemical that became notorious after it was found in humidifier sterilizers made by Oxy Record Benkeiser. Oxy is facing allegations that the product was responsible for more than 200 deaths over the past five years, and it knew of the product's dangers, including links to pulmonary inflammation and fibrosis. Meanwhile, the maker of fabric refreshener Febreze has been cleared of allegations the product was harmful to the human body. The ministry said Procter & Gamble Korea's report on the ingredients in the product show the product contains chemicals thought to cause lung damage. However, the government also said it was unable to conclude that the ingredients are harmful to the human body. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News. North Korea is reportedly earning foreign cash by registering foreign vessels as North Korean ships. Voice of America reports that North Korea registered six vessels from Middle East nations, including Iran and the UAE, from last year to March. The report says the foreign shipping companies benefit from avoiding certain taxes, while Pyongyang gets the foreign currency it craves. Voice of America points out that the practice is a clear violation of UN sanctions that ban not only North Korean ships operating under foreign flags of convenience, but also foreign vessels registering under North Korea. South Korean author Han Gang has won this year's Man Booker International Prize for Fiction for her novel The Vegetarian. Han is the first South Korean to ever win the prestigious award. Kim mo has the details. The Vegetarian. Korean novelist Han Gang and her translator Deborah Smith won the 2016 Man Booker International Prize for Han's novel The Vegetarian at a ceremony in London on Monday. The Vegetarian, which tells the story of a woman who wants to reject human brutality and stops eating meat, was one of 155 books submitted for this year's prize. Han beat world-renowned writers including Nobel laureate Orhan Pamuk and international bestseller Elena Ferrante. Han and Smith, who only began studying Korean seven years ago, will share the 72,000 U.S. dollar prize money. Through her book, Han said she wanted to raise questions and share her thoughts about being human. When I was writing The Vegetarian, I wanted to question about uh, being human. And I wanted to describe a woman who desperately didn't want to belong to human race any longer and desperately wanted to reject um, um, being human who 
commit such violence. Smith says the book has something for everyone, regardless of where they are from. It deserves a wider audience, um, also that it has the potential to reach that wider audience. You know, it has universal appeal. The Man Booker Prize, which has been around for more than 40 years, is considered one of the world's most distinguished literature prizes. Local experts expect the win to motivate Korean novelists to reach out to foreign readers and give a boost to the local publishing scene. Kim mo Arirang News. Two Korean tech giants are among the roughly 450 companies participating in the country's largest ICT event that kicked off in Seoul this morning. At the World IT Show, visitors can experience what it's like to live the smart life through displays of a wide range of things, from virtual reality, Internet of Things and smart cars, to cloud computing, artificial intelligence and big data. Samsung Electronics featured its waterproof Galaxy S7 Edge and Gear 360, which can capture 360-degree videos. Local rival LG Electronics displayed its smart home service, the SmartThin Q sensor, which allows users to connect and convert all electronic devices to its smart home appliances and the Internet. And that does it for now. Thank you for watching. Keep you tuned to Arirang for more news updates throughout the day.